It's time for another update from the cycle cart workshop. I'm uh, working on the tail section right now. Uh, our last build day uh, we had a little setback. Um, we determined that the floor right here hit the front axle when you compress the spring all the way down. Uh, we didn't have the axle when we made the the floorboard um, so now we uh, are in the process of fixing that so in the meantime I'm trying to catch up on some things we started for instance here's an inner the two inner panels and the two outer panels are now sized and uh, in place they still need to be drilled out and uh, riveted at some point but they're ready for the piece of metal that goes over the top front and rear here. Um, I also, uh, we started working on these metal strips here and uh, I finished those on both sides. Kind of makes it look a little bit cleaner. So right now I'm focused on the panels that go here. One here and one for the other side. So let me show you uh, what I'm up to. Here at the workshop we have a hodgepodge of different sizes and thicknesses of aluminum. Uh, this is a piece of aluminum I bought a few years ago. It's 063, 16th of an inch, 5052. Um, Steve brought over some 50 thousandths. Uh, there were some leftover 40 thousandths. So for the sake of consistency, I went over to the metal supply house today and I bought two 4x4 four four sheets of 40 thousandths. That's my preference. Here's the uh, 40 thousandths, 5052. Uh, it's easy to drill and to bend and shape. Uh, not as good as 3003, but uh, it'll certainly do. So I spent $89. Basically, it's a 4x8 sheet, so that's what it cost me, $89. I'm working on this rear section now. I want to skin it. Uh, but because it's a, a simple aluminum frame that's uh, riveted together, it kind of racks a little bit. So I've uh, tried to square it up as best I can and make it solid so I could skin it. I put four bolts, temporary bolts in it to hold it firmly to the chassis and subframe. And I also put a temporary piece of aluminum over here. So now it feels pretty solid. My idea is to uh, skin it and then there'll be a couple of tabs that'll, that'll hold it down. Uh, one here and one up here. So I have a uh, piece of poster board. I'm going to take a little piece to there and then I'm going to trace it. This thing's a little bit out of square, but it's close enough. Uh, but uh, I can't just cut a piece and have it fit perfect. That I have to use this, trace it, and then fit it. This is coming along nicely. It's a good pattern, I think. Uh, this shape is slightly irregular, so it has to be a pattern. Um, fits pretty good right there. So uh, I need to make this part and install it, and then I can remove this temporary one and do that side. But I have to make the cutout 
for the uh, air cleaner and pole starter. So um, I have the cardboard template over there that I'll use. Here I've uh, marked out an initial opening, plenty of room for the air cleaner to get to the uh, on off for the gas and the choke and then right here is the pole handle. So I'm going to hack this open and uh, I might fine tune the shape and I have a method for cutting a clean open and I'll uh, show you that here in a minute. Well, I could trim that a little bit. That's the general idea. You want to be able to get to things. How you doing, Garth? Excellent. <laughs> Garth is uh, new to cycle karting. He lives here in Phoenix, and he came over to check it out. And he's going to be building a cart pretty soon. Soon. He's our kind of guy. He's already he's drilling and riveting. There you go. All right, nice. Glad to have you in the brotherhood. Thank you. <laughs> Steven and I have been working on the seat. We're putting one inch foam on the seat back. Uh, I had some scrap out in the shed, so we're piecing it in. And then it'll get covered with fabric. This is shaping up pretty good. It has a nice fit right here. I'll have to trim it a little bit, but that's okay. Here's where the cutout will be. 
Alright. So I'm going to size the panel first get it to fit real nice, then I'll do the cutout. So ultimately, uh, in the alumina, I'm going to cut this hole out with a router bit with a bearing. This bearing will ride on the inside of this plywood. So I'm going to cut this out, clean it up, place the metal over it, and then route the opening. And I made some little radius corners here. So let's Here I have cut out the opening and I'm going to use the wood rasp to clean this up real nice and then I'll sand these edges so they're smooth because uh, the bearing, this bearing right here, will ride on here. So uh, it's important that this opening is clean and the way you want it because that's exactly what we'll get in the metal. to uh, make the cut here. I've careful, carefully um, positioned the aluminum over the opening. I uh, drilled a hole here that allowed the bearing to drop in. So uh, now I just need to work my way around the form. Well, it makes a bit of a mess, but works pretty good. All right, Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I'm happy with that installation. Take some 320. out the sharp edges and then I can relieve it just a little bit there but that that looks like it'll work now I have to uh, punch some holes for the rivets so this is a 5 30 seconds punch same size as the rivets I could drill it out, but this goes much faster. And it's fun. That does a nice job.
that was a little more work than I thought it was going to be, but uh, I'm happy with the installation. I think it looks good and it's nice and strong. So I will move around to this other side. If you recall, this is a temporary panel. So this should go a little easier. Although later we'll have to figure out how we're going to route the header and muffler and it may come out the side here. So at some later date we may hack this up a little bit. Okay, onward. Well, as luck would have it, this pattern is pretty darn close. I trimmed it a little bit here so that fits good. It's a little short right there. So what I'll do is I'll take some masking tape and that will be my new edge. I'll trace along the edge of the tape. Okay, I have uh, this panel fitting pretty good. Um, just a slight amount of trim right here at the end. That's easy. And then I rivet it in place and uh, at that point uh, the rear cover is pretty much done. Uh, I still have to figure out how I'm going to attach it. Maybe some straps or something. Steve and I were talking about that, but we haven't decided yet. Okay, well that's the end of this uh, update. Um, I appreciate that you watch, and uh, Steve uh, took some footage yesterday, so watch over on his channel, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next build day. Thanks everybody.